been a six-year journey, and I'm happy to announce the launch of a latest initiative which we titled the Digital Archive of Singapore Tamil Dance. We have collected various Tamil dance-related materials, videos, flyers, magazines and program booklets from Singapore dance pioneers and young artists and curated and digitised these materials and uploaded them online so that they are accessible to the public. Unlike music, unlike literature, uh, dance is by its very nature ephemeral. Once the performance is over, it just lives in the memory uh, and memory is to fade. Uh, so the archive is putting together in a permanent collection all the fragments that you could find of uh, the history of Indian dance in Singapore. The National Library Board has been a ready partner and Elaine and her team have uh, stepped up to do, uh, you know, to do their part, recognising that although the Tamil community is a small part of the larger Singapore community, its cultural identity and its contribution to the larger Singapore society is a critical one and one that should be documented and preserved for posterity. I think what we want to see is the opportunity to create more bonds, opportunities to understand each other's cultures better. And I think this platform creates a new way, adapted to the current times and the technology that's available today to serve that purpose. So tonight is exciting because uh, it's, it's, it's celebration of the arts, actually, if you took a look at it. That was digitization of theater, music, dance, and literature all in one place in Drama Centre, you know. I'm happy that my product that I was involved in was part of this. And of course, I managed to do a five minute act, which is a contemporized version of Shakespeare, Hamlet. And then I did it as a, from an ex-convict's point of view to a, something to give back to the Yellow Ribbon Project, which is close to my heart. So the song that I performed today is called Chininjita Kiliye. It's written by a very prolific Tamil poet from India um, named Bharadiyar. And the song is actually a very popular song because it speaks about a mother's love for a child. I think a lot of people have an impression that traditional music is not accessible or that traditional music has lyrics which people can't understand. And I just wanted to show that at the end of the day, traditional music is accessible. You know, sometimes some people say that when a minority community or something wants to come forward to do something, um, we don't get the full support or anything. But as we saw, some of the main people who actually made this happen were of other communities. And I think that's very important to show that at the end of the day, Singapore is a multicultural society. It's in a portal which can be accessed from any part of the world. So when someone accesses them, they get access to you know, work of every single Singaporean Indian artist that's been, right? Like That's what we're aiming to do with this. And I think it will go to show that Singapore is just beyond the red dot, you know, that it is actually a, a cultural chest and it has so much over the years. Um, so there's, there's been a great interest in Indian arts amongst, uh, you know, many people want to learn the art form. So there's a great demand, um, you know, for learning these art forms. And so I think this will be a wonderful resource. I think it, it provides an interesting database, a lot of resources for researchers as well, for practitioners, for future practitioners. And I think it's a wonderful initiative. It's not going to stop here. And we would like to continue collecting from as many dance practitioners, Singaporeans as well, locally produced uh, you know dance productions as well I think this is just a start. I think what we've done is just to show folks that you know if we work together, whether it's government and, and with the community and different groups of people coming together, we can actually achieve something. I, I think really it's just a momentum, and many people have today itself expressed that you know they're so interested to, to do more to help us if we have future initiatives. So I think that's really quite a good support that we're hearing from the folks. I think again it's also in line with what National Library does in terms of trying to collect and preserve our, our heritage and everything. So this is really a meaningful project. The truth is, you could be of any other community, but if you have pursued any like Tamil music or Tamil dance, or not even specifically Tamil, but Indian classical music, Indian classical dance or theater, and if your work hasn't been archived yet, we just want everyone's works to come in. So please, please reach out to us so that we can archive your work.